You've recognized him. You've had dispatch run his name. It's a common police call. We've verified that there is a warrant for his arrest and he needs to go to jail. But this time... St. George police give the media a glimpse of what life is like behind the badge. We expect our officers to be able to respond to anything that's thrown at them and act appropriately. And given the range of calls... So you get that perspective of, okay, which tool am I going to use? How am I going to defuse this situation or take him into custody in a matter of seconds? There could be chaos, and so our, our officers to enter an environment that is that. This is the worst of the worst. This is an active shooter. Somebody is actively killing. Police have more to deal with than containing a threat. Adrenaline rushing, heart pumping, and pressure mounting, all in a split second. Key thing about that is these officers go through it enough, it almost trying to, like we're inoculating them against if the real scenario happens. The FBI says that from 2000 to 2013, there were 160 incidents of active shooters throughout the U.S. In those incidents, shooters killed or wounded 1,043 people. Holding these weapon systems, knowing that we might get shot when we go in there, right? In annual training like this, safety precautions are key. That's why the fluorescent tape is used. But the training needs to be authentic. So officers are using guns similar to the ones they use on the street. These are loaded with paint rounds. They've seen that, they've felt that, even in a training environment. And when the smoke clears... We, we don't view it as St. George, the sleepy little town where nothing happens. We're preparing for this to happen. We're going to expect that this happens. We hope that it never does. As the events in Charleston showed last night, unthinkable tragedy can become reality in an instant. And these St. George officers want to be ready. This type of training brings everything together. Stace Hall, KSL 5 News.